the amount of antioxidants needed for a longer life or life extension. There is a lot of studies, 13,000 or more. Actually interesting, very interesting. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Health and Wellness Instructor for 34 years. Let's get the world healthy. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and let's get everyone healthy. Well, can we extend life with antioxidants? There are some interesting things going on there. We'll have to talk about this. Can we have better health with antioxidants? Absolutely, positively. It's not like maybe. It is you can. And at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about how much, how many milligrams you need to really thrive and maybe live, and I can guarantee you, live a longer life. First of all, antioxidants are only found in plants, and there's none found in animal products. You won't find it any of those places, and so you got to eat plants in order to live longer. There are a ton of different types of antioxidants, the polyphenols, you know, found in green tea, all kinds of uh, keratinids and, uh, and tocopherols, all kinds of different things, and they all add up to being antioxidants in general. And studies show that they protect against cancers and uh, heart disease and diabetes, osteoporosis, nerve and brain damage, and on and on and on. Almost everything. The average person <laughs> eating the average American diet eats less than 2,000 milligrams of antioxidants daily. We're, wow, this is really not good. And the people who, which one-third of the United States, eats fast food three times a day, they're getting almost zero, and which is really not good. No protection against all these terrible diseases of any kind. So their life expectancy, not good. You get all these free radicals, you know, from uh, the environment, from what we eat, and all these different things, and they start to age us. And antioxidants they actually take down the uh, free radicals so that we start to feel good and we get rid of the inflammation in our body. 2020 studies show that flavonoids, antioxidants, possess a number of medicinal benefits, including anti-cancer, antioxidant, uh, anti-inflammatory and antiviral properties also. A study also shows that it protects the brain and the nervous system in 2020. Down below I put down a, a few of the studies. There are 13,000 plus articles about this. But if you tack down the scientists as to whether, you know, antioxidants are going to make you live longer, they're not going to tell you anything and they won't commit to anything. I find this very interesting. Uh, I had some friends that were specialists in vitamin C and also in treating, can't say that here, uh, and there is so much information about that, but because they're talking about vitamin C and it's not a pharmaceutical, they would get laughed at. But <laughs> Linus Pauling and all his people you know, always got laughed at. And, but actual vitamins and all these antioxidants are amazing for taking care of us. A study in 2022 showing just one antioxidant, quercetin, was an antioxidant, uh, also anti-inflammatory, and keeps things from proliferating, and anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, antiviral, and on and on and on. So they cross the blood-brain barrier and they get into our brain and protect our brain for sure. A study in 2024, antioxidants are a bioactive, anti-cancer, antioxidant uh, activity, anti-cholinesterase activity, anti-inflammatory, anti-malarial, anti-diabetic, uh, helps protect the liver, uh, protects the heart, and antiviral, and antimicrobial, and wow, so many different things. A study in 2008 showed that 
antioxidants actually help with the uh, uh, with cancer with cellular death and also inhibits the proliferation of the cancer and metastasis and the spread of the cancer in general and throughout tissues. 2021 study showed that antioxidants are, were associated with mitochondrial health, which is the powerhouse of the whole body, and reproduction and growth and aging also, good aging. Study in 2011 showed that a diet rich in polyphenols and antioxidants does seem to offer hope in delaying the onset of age-related diseases. So, we live longer. In a study in 2010 basically said the same thing. So, we've been talking about this for a long time. And a study in 2003 even said, evidence shows that diets rich in fruits and vegetables decrease the risk of premature death or mortality, which is very, very, very important. If you want to have a longer life, you can't die. <laughs> Fortunately, our gut only allows about 5% of the antioxidants to come in into us uh, through our, our gut into the bloodstream. So we have to eat constantly a lot of fruits and vegetables, you know, uh, green leafy things, uh, wonderful romaine lettuce and kale and things like that. Uh, also some grains and lots of beans, and these will start, you know, keeping us young. Look at, look at my skin. Like I said, the average American diet gives us about less than 2,000 milligrams a day. I would recommend anywhere from 7,000 milligrams to 10,000 milligrams a day, and that will boost up your ability to live longer. And studies show where they eat a lot of plants, people live to be over 100 years old around the world. And they don't eat animal products, which have a lot of toxins in them also, which start the, the process of de degradation of the body. So we keep all these antioxidants going all the time. We look good, we feel good, and we live longer. So there you have it. I would recommend 7,000 to 10,000. You have to eat it in whole foods. You can, you know, uh, add some supplements now and then, but it's not the answer. It also has to have fiber, 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 because the fiber is actually, from all these different fruits and vegetables, makes a good bacteria in our gut grow, and they create short-chain fatty acids, which slow the aging process also by keeping away disease. So this is all interconnected. So eat your fresh fruits and vegetables, organic as much as possible, that's for sure. And look younger and also feel younger and start to keep away all that disease and you will live longer. And I am planning to get live to be 150. I don't know about you, I'm going to be 72 very, very shortly. And a lot of people don't think I look 72. I get that comment all the time. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. I'm working with a, a person with a huge amount of problems. This person is on a sleep apnea machine. And that actually is, they have a three times higher chance of coming down with Alzheimer's and dementia if you are on a sleep apnea machine, and we're gonna get that person off of that and extend their life greatly. 831-869-9119. Also, remember God, remember I love you. Uh, remember to focus on sacrifice, devotion, and love. These are the most important things that we can do every single moment where I have to say most people are moving towards pride, selfishness, and self-interest, and they become less than human after that. So make sure you have sacrifice and devotion and love to help other people and love God. I love you.